What's up, YouTube? Uh, another Matty Crisco production from Matty Crisco. Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, inside the shop today, going to do a little review on a uh, piece of equipment, a bag. You can tell right here in front of us, that's what we're going to talk about. Um, I've used it. Uh, you know me, I don't open up boxes and just kind of do that open box review kind of thing. That's not my style. I like to put a little miles on things. Uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding, they say. So, uh, you know, I like to get a few miles and some usage on it and then offer a, a real world practical kind of uh, review. So uh, that's what you're going to get from me today on this bag. Uh, this is uh, a bag I've been using for a couple months. I've probably used it on uh, three or four trips now. Um, about probably 500, 400, 500 miles uh, total. It's the first gear torrent dry duffel. It's a uh, 25 liters dry pack. Uh, it is considered a dry bag. Um, it's a duffel. Um, it's got a lot of features on it, uh, more than just a, say, a, a cheaper uh, type uh, dry bag you might pick up at a sporting goods store or, uh, or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's a little hands-on. Uh, show you what I got, show you what is, how it's been for me. Um, so I'll just let you know off the bat, it's, uh, it's, a, it's been a good bag. Um, <clears throat> so let's jump right into it, and uh, we'll kind of get some uh, features on the outside out of the way. Uh, we'll pack it up and uh, unpack it and show you just what kind of capacity this thing has. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, um, again, first gear, Torrent, dry pack. This is the 25 liter. They also come in a 40 um, and they also come, I think, in a huge ass 60. But uh, let's look at it. It's, it's uh, first off, it's it's a waterproof uh, material, and I'm not going to misspeak. Uh, it's got a carry handle and a carry strap. I've not used the strap, but uh, the carry handle simply just velcros together, throw it out of the way when you don't need it, uh, and then put it back together when you do. So uh, I really haven't used a shoulder strap. Um, you'll find two straps that come across the side with buckles, just your regular cam buckles. Uh, or whatever you want to call them and then on the sides here you're going to see uh, one on each end and uh, when you roll it down you just buckle those up unbuckle them reverse it and that's the way you know you see there um, I've uh, unrolled it probably like four maybe five rolls uh, it's got a reinforced top here uh, to help with the sealing of the process and also packing it kind of helps it stay open kind of like a reinforced uh, mouth so to speak but uh, first gear recommends that you roll it down at least a couple times um you know to ensure that the bag is sealed and uh and waterproof so uh that's not hard to do um, as you see it's a pretty good size bag when you when you open it up and i don't even have it stuffed uh with stuff as much as i do uh, or as much as i could um so uh basically you got uh, d rings on both ends on a t on the top side so you got four there and then if you flip it over and look um you've got uh four on the bottom side and uh, basically it comes with four straps uh, that you can secure this thing with. Um, you can see here that I've, I've got uh, a lot of dirt on it. I have used that. So, uh, um, you know, it has got some use for real in the real world. So uh, I got these straps. That they send you four of them. They're just basic, you know, D-ring straps locked back on themselves. Uh, I'm only using two of them. Um, and I use those basically. I leave them on. But if I'm running my tall sissy bar bag, I'll, I'll run, you know, it's uh, about that tall. So... I'll run these over the thing, let it rest on the on the seat, sitting just like that. Um, and I haven't had any problems. I've I've ran it for like I said, four or five hundred miles on a few trips now. Um, you know, I, I, on the weekends I'm off with my club riding, so um, you know I, I put some miles on it. So uh, needless to say, uh, so far it's been a good bag. And those are some features there. Um, if you look on the ends, you got some carrying things are reinforced with some rubber uh, around the the nylon strap. Um, these straps, like I said, I just kind of pull them to the side. I leave them on all the time instead of just taking them on and off as needed. Uh, and it's got two more. So uh, not a big deal, but you could probably pull those off of the ends and stuff a little more in because uh, you can see how they bring the bag in uh, a, a little, some of the space. So you could actually loosen those and, and get a little more on the ends and stuff it probably even better. Um, but anyways, so uh, again, it's, uh, it's been a good bag so far. Um, these are basically some of the outside features. It's got a little pocket here. Um, Probably couldn't put anything more than maybe some change or uh, you might put some papers in there. Um, it's it's kind of small and, you know, I got I got big uh, bear paw hands and, uh, you know, my hands fit in there. But, uh, you know, getting out with the rings is a little difficult. But, um, 
nonetheless, I haven't really put anything in there. So that's basically the bag on the outside, uh, most of the features. Um, like I said, it's got the reinforced mouth, and you open it up. Um, you know, you can get a lot of stuff in here. Um, we'll show you what I've got, what all I've got stuffed in here for this weekend trip. Uh, basically, a, a, a heavier fleece. That's not a shirt. It's actually more of a coat. Uh, I got a pair of sneakers in here. You know, sometimes I ride in sneakers. Um, some socks. Basics to get through. A thermal in case it gets a little uh, cooler than I expected and, and the flannel's not enough. A little toiletry kit. Just pick these up at anywhere, you know, Walmart or somewhere and uh, put what you need in there. Got another little bag. It's like a little mo molly bag. Um, you know, it's got uh, some bandaging, some first aid type stuff, you know, stuff that wouldn't fit in that toiletry kit. So uh, anyway, so I carry that in there as well. Uh, we're going to get a little personal here, I guess. Uh, I suffer from sleep apnea. So uh, I also carry my travel sleeping machine uh, so I can get a good night rest. Um, what else we got in here? I've got, uh, let's see, I got a couple of T-shirts representing Cali, my second home. Uh, you know, another couple of the shirts. Um, we got, oh, I got some sleeping clothes, uh, you know, T-shirt, pair of gym shorts, you know. Um, can't walk around like a savage naked all the time. Um, what else we got? Oh, I got a pair of Dickies and... Uh, see what else we got oh pair of jeans yeah so uh you know anyway so that's that's pretty good uh that's enough stuff that i carry on an extension cord um you know that's that's a pretty good amount I, that's you know gonna get me through two or three days uh like i said without the machine in there i could probably get even a little more and uh stuff in it but uh anyway i'm gonna put all this stuff back in uh, i'm not gonna bore you with all that but uh i'm show you real quick uh how you pack it um and then when we get all that pack repacked, uh, we'll cut back in and uh, I'll show you how I seal it and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, right now we'll just pack all this up. So here we are. Everything's packed up. We're ready to roll. You've got everything in there you think you're going to need. You always forget something, or at least I do. So I wind up packing this thing like three times. Uh, anyway, so you come with it. you got the reinforced top. The ends where your buckles are. And, uh, you know, this helps it stay together and also makes a rigid point for when you start rolling it down. Now, what I do is I kind of fold the extra in half and, and I kind of smash out the the air just you know so it's easier that's one downside of this bag it does not have a release valve like some do uh, but at this price point I don't I don't expect that much out of it uh, but you can see you can still get more stuff in there and, and actually stuff it even further with two rolls but you know I've got three and a half almost four rolls down easy peasy just back, buckle up the sides uh, on each end they say those are to keep it from blowing open or anything like that but um, it probably wouldn't happen. It might, but uh, you got the straps that come over it. I think those would be su suffice enough, but they went the extra mile uh, first gear and, and did that. And uh, so we're going to buckle those up, cinch them down, uh, if I can ever find it, and then pull them tight. And, uh, you know, you got a little leeway there. You could still get it more, but if you were to smash it down, then uh, obviously you can put this back together. This is, you know, monkey work here. Anybody can figure out how to do that. And you got your strap. Now, you're ready to go. Sealed up. Everything's going to stay dry. You're going to move it to the bike. And uh, basically the way I would do it, or that I do do it, is if I don't run a sissy bar, I'll put it on a seat like this, um, and then I'll bungee it. Uh, and I'll take a, I've got a crisscross bungee, and I'll just put it across, attach it to the detach hardware. If I had my sissy bar, obviously it's a little taller. Um, that does go just about to the top uh, of the old school sissy bar. Um, just loosen those, slip it over, and it pretty much is going to sit like that. And depending on the angle of your seat, the angle of your sissy bar, it might even act as a backrest uh, for you. But on mine, it's a little too far back, so uh, it doesn't really help that much. But uh, basically, that's it. That's uh, you know, that's it in a nutshell. It's uh, the first gear torrent bag. This is the 25 liter dry pack size. They also come in the 40. They also come in a huge ass 60, um, which I would imagine. imagine if you put those across the seat, uh, it'd probably stick out just as far as your saddlebag side to side. But it looked huge when I saw it. Anyway, this is good for a two or three day little trip by yourself. Maybe an overnighter with another person. Uh, if you need a bigger or you were traveling two up, uh, you might want that. But, uh, you know, you might want to close the pocket like that so it doesn't get wet. Uh, but anyway, so uh, 
you know that's that's basically it in a nutshell it's uh it's been a good little uh it's been a good little bag i have put some miles on it um it's holding up well like i said we'll you know if we need to do an update and it uh doesn't meet the expectations that we've laid out then you know it is what it is and we'll uh we'll move on from there and do an update on that so uh anyways 25 liters first gear torrent uh, i'm not a paid uh, reviewer for them i have no affiliation with first gear but hey first gear you want to kick in some stuff and i'll review it for you for free hey i'm i'm all about it um so anyway that's it uh, really until the next time we catch each other uh you know on the flip side same thing keep that rubber side down keep the shiny side up knees in the breeze and your knuckles in the wind and uh that's basically it <laughs>